Hello and welcome everybody to another exciting episode of Carlin Brothers Box Breakers, or as we like to call it, CBQ. Or really just box slam. No, no, I was gonna slam really well. You are known That's for you are known for damaging <laughs> boxes. We need to keep these away. I like from to throw Jay. them around and do cool box tricks. <laughs> no, well, really good at it. Gotta save that. Wanna for see? Nope, 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 we'll leave them just right where they are. This is gonna be season three, uh, group two, pack two. Excited to dive on in. Let's go. As ever, let's take a quick look at the rules. Jay and I will be opening a booster pack from the latest collection. Any rare cards, cards that feature a star, score points. Scoring is very simple. We head on over to the current price list on TCG Player and determine your rare card or card's value. That value is rounded up to the nearest whole number. But the fun doesn't stop there. Each week, we'll also spin the wheel of energy to determine this episode's type advantage. If the energy in your pack matches the type advantage, then your entire pack gets a two times multiplier. And you get an additional point for each mon of that type in your your pack. Lastly, there are also three randomly chosen common chase cards that are worth one additional point each. So if your energy card matches the type advantage, you pull two randomly chosen common chase cards and your rare card is worth $3.75, that will be rounded up to four plus two points for the common chase cards gives you six points times two for the energy and your final score is 12. And now let's spin the wheel of energy. Boy, if the last box was anything to go on, we're looking for eyeball. Looking for eyeball, but could be uh, fire. Oh, so close, but it said it's salad energy. Salad energy, man! What in the name of Davy Jones's locker is a salad? All right, there's plenty of there's plenty of salad Pokemon in here, but first, let's change the boards. <sighs> Leafy looks pretty good. It, I, it does look pretty good. It does look pretty good. I feel like it meshes nicely. I feel like if anything, we're wearing like shades of green and we've got shades. old leaves. Shades back of salad, there. Ben. Shades of salad, yes. as it were. Speaking of salad, you want to let them know what you are not allowed to touch it anymore. <laughs> You want to let them know the randomly chosen common chase cards of the day? Yes, our randomly chosen common chase cards of the day are going to be Clang, Dratini, and Ralts. I was pretty excited when I saw the Ralts show up on the randomly chosen thing because we pulled her a lot of Ralts in the last episode. So yeah, yeah, hopefully that scores a lot for people. Hopefully, hopefully, we, like yeah, just it's like whatever these end up being like ends up injecting a whole bunch of points. Yeah. Into the whole like scheme, so yeah. obviously it can only be one Ralts per pack or whatever most likely, but. Uh, although I guess you can have, you can a have the reverse, reverse hollow, yeah. so it could be two. Um, but either way, yeah, so so curious to see how those randomly chosens do on the day. Here goes the plastic. You know, Ben, you know what it occurred to me? What's that? I don't think, in, in our last box, I don't think we heard from the guys in the back even once. Wow! They weren't feeling that box. Well, you know what the guys in the back are, they're phoning in and they're saying, the third pack we open today is the pack. Well, that's gonna be exciting, but before we get to that, let's start off with today's first contestant, Afropunk, coming into today with four points. Four points, four points on the season, one pack in. On the second pack, it's an exciting time to be alive. Exciting we've got indeed. The, we've got the salad energy just rearing to go. Wouldn't it be crazy if Afropunk pulled the salad energy right out of the gate? And they do! Oh my gosh, it was exciting! All, All right, right. Okay. so we have the salad energy right away. How exciting. Can we pull some chase cards? Oh, I see something peeking out back I, here. I do, some a little bit of there's a some, glimmer. There's some glimmer. I don't know if you guys like can some, tell. Some trainer gallery Is Afropunk about to oh, come in? There we go. Guns That's worth double. Glazing, buns glazing. Uh, boom! Oh, and it's an alt art Cricketune V, which is also grass, so it's an extra point on top of the multiplier. And, and oh my gosh! Goodness. And the Rizion! Goodness! Whoa. So at the very least, that's one, two, three, four, five, six points. Times two, because they have the energy, so twelve, right? Or did oh, you yeah. already do that? No, no. You're yeah, right. yeah, yeah, you're right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's without the multiplier. That's without right? the multiplier. Because it's, it's grass. Wait, no, 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 this one's one point. Okay, okay. We're Two points. So this one, we're gonna get it. We're gonna get it. Figure, let's figure out the cricket tune first. The cricket tune is gonna be uh, number trainer gallery number twelve. This is gonna be a good one. This is gonna be a good pack for Ash for a punk. Let's see, yeah. So that's gonna come in at four dollars and nineteen. Oh, hang on a second. Yeah. Four dollars and nineteen cents, which will round up to five dollars times two. Will get you. No, it's gonna be five dollars plus one more point for being grass. So six times, times two, two is, is twelve. 12. This one is grass plus rare, so that'll be two times two is four, plus 12 is 16. This will be 
17, 18. 18 point pack for Afropunk. Boy, that was some tricky math on that one. We haven't had a weird one like that in a while. Last season, Afropunk ended with 18 points. So now they're up to 22 on the season. That is going to be pretty solid. It's enough for fourth place at the moment. At the moment. Wow. Very impressive. We came right out with an alt art cricket tune right there. That's insane. You'll love to see it. You sure do. All right. Here we go. Next up is going to be Haley and Colin, who are splitting a point apiece at two points on the season. As ever, we got we got a situation where you got two people who are each sharing sharing their points. I suppose this could be Colin. It could be Haley and Colin. Colin. That's K O L I N. You, Let's go with you Colin. Decide. Let's go with Colin. Yeah, I've never that, heard I, of Colin. Yeah, that's that's true. Let's <clears throat> see here. Oh, oh no. no! Wow! Oh, it would appear no. this box isn't doing the the back to back thing. It would appear. Wow! They're gonna have to maybe start splitting that single point. <laughs> Oh dear. All right, let's see what we end up with, though. Um, so, Ferro Thorn, the Leafy Camo Poncho, Palo Sand, Sand? Palo Sand? Palo Sand. Palo Sand. Yeah. Uh, Relicanth, Sandy Gast, Halucha, Rufflet, Vulpix, the Meditite, which doesn't score, and the oh, Talon Flame. Oh, so this is a zero point pack, man? It's a zero point oh, pack. No. Oh, man. Wow. Okay, so that's gonna be a big yeah, no, no right clang, there. no dratini, no ralts, no yeah. Oh my goodness Man, gracious! There were no leaf tricky. energies in there. No, no grass Pokemon to speak of. Wow, wow. Okay, well, you know what's a magic There you go, zero point pack. Well, sorry to hear that, Haley and Colin. You're gonna have to continue to split your single points amongst each other. Uh, but with two points on the board after two packs, you're pretty good for last place. <laughs> Congratulations! Congrats. This is a great place to be, and it is a place where you do win an ETV if you come in last place, as long as you have played at least two packs. Exactly. So uh, next up we have Jupiter Fox, coming with seven points, so that's pretty respectable. Uh, sitting in 14th at the moment, but obviously going to move up a little bit. This is your pack, I'm sorry about that. Is it that. my pack? Is it? It's not, because you tried to pronounce Palisand. I got it. I'm we're not on, we're not on our A game today, are we? Ben, are you this, kidding? We've already pulled an alt art cricketune. We're pulling like total salad right now, okay? Total salad. Total figure. salad. <laughs> no. <laughs> oh, a dark tear drop. A dark tear drop. Here we go. The capturing aroma, the slurp off the gold mint. Oh man, see? Do you see why I wanted the eyeball energy? I see it as I the bonus. It. Oh. The emolga, the chat. Look how many psychic Pokemon you've gotten. One, two, three, four. Oh, Reggie Draco V Star! Forget the eyeball energies. We have a real card to look up. A now. real card to look up. The number 136. Was this the third pack? This was the third pack. Yes, it was. Do the guys in the back in the back always know? How do they do How it? How do they do it? This was anticipated to be a pretty competitive card. It has not really proven to be, but that might but since we use values from the start of like the drop. Uh, that could mean it's pretty high. Well, unfortunately, it's oh. not as high as you would have thought. And I'm not okay. actually sure exactly what we do in this particular instance because it is worth exactly $3. That's an exact three points. There's it's nothing to round up. There's nothing to round up. Nothing to round up. So Zero rounds down. Zero rounds down. That gets you three points for the pack. It means you do ten points on the season for Jupiter Fox. But the guys in the back knew what was up. They, they, did, they knew something was coming. They knew something Look was this. coming. Three packs in. We've already pulled an alt art and a V-Star. That's pretty exciting. Next up, we have Emmanuel Knight coming in with two points on the season. Emmanuel has swam in every single ocean. What? Yeah. Although, if you think about it, it's not any ocean also every ocean. One fire is every fire, so to speak. Well, I suppose. This, the oceans feel more like one ocean than fires feel like one fire. It's you know, true. They're all physically connected. This is true. This is true. All right, hang on a second. One. You've entered the ocean in many locations, is what you're saying. Does that mean the Arctic Ocean? Is that one of the oceans? Yeah. Okay. <laughs> it's like... Do I know my oceans? Yeah. There are only four, right? I think there's five now. You oh. see the problem? Yeah, I'm confused already. <laughs> there, there's not more water. Whoa! Salad energy! Salad energy. Very exciting stuff. We got our nine tails. We got the leafy camo poncho. We got the slur puff. Oh, there's the pet low. There we go. So that's worth two. One. Yes. Okay. Yeah, because yeah. Yeah, yeah, okay. that's also bad. We are just having ourselves a good old time today. The road of the Terrakion, that's, that's another point. point. And, and the, the Rapidash is going to be worth the point. So that's two, three, four times, no. Right. One, one two, two three, three times, times two, two, six. 
a mini recap. So we got it. That's six points. That's eight on the season for Emmanuel Knight. Way to pull that salad energy, dude. Way to do it. Way to do it. Competitive play. We love to see it. No doubt. And that rapid dash is pretty cool. It is no pretty doubt. cool. Cards headed power. your way. That's right. Next up, we have Johnny. Johnny. Spelled, spelled with the DZ. Oh, of course, obviously. Yeah, the traditional spelling. Yes. Yes, indeed. Yeah. Yeah. Preferred spelling. I had, um, I was dating a girl once then, and she was like, can I call you Johnny? And I was like, <laughs> please don't. <laughs> you I are, actively dislike it. You, you are infamous. For me. Yes, yes. Uh, one of, yeah, if you had the, the correct spelling, of course, here, it would completely change everything. Uh, but you're also, you're very particular about not being called John well, as well. Yeah, well, I mean, our dad's name was John, so that was also, like, a little bit confusing. True, true. Yeah. Plus, yeah. when you've got, like, Jonathan right there, why wouldn't you go for it? Right, I mean, yeah. yeah. Use the eight-letter name, like exactly. Benjamin. Exactly. <laughs> Nobody's ever asked to call me Benji before. Exactly, yeah. But would you be okay with it? I'd be okay with Benjam. Benjam. You can call me Benjam all you want. There you go. Bam! Johnny gets the lightning energy. Would have been great last episode, but not today! We haven't had any of the chase cards yet, which is surprising. What is going on? What Why is, is this? Going? But there is something peeking out back there. Oh, there's something definitely. Oh, oh, the sun current's going to be a point. And dun, dun, oh, the ho ho oh. V. I love the art on this card, even though it's just a base level art. Um, let's see how it does. Dollar twenty seven, so it'll round up to two plus an additional. Yep, is three points on the pack and four points on the season for Johnny. Well done, sir. Dude, I love that Ho-Ho -Oh card. That is a really cool, it's so it's fun. a neat piece. Yeah. I'm excited to see how it looks on our glamour shots as it like as it spins around. It's and look extra Beautiful. sporkly. Next up is Shadow Loop. Man, I feel like we're having a great box so far. So lots far. of exciting stuff going on. We're seeing lots of color. Have we seen the best card already? I doubt it. I doubt it. What do the guys in the back say? I mean, you're the one who talks to them. That's true, they, yeah, yeah. He's got a lot of hearsay. <laughs> Let's see here. So there's our four with the flip. We got our oh, light. Oh, now we're back to this. I know. I know. The emergency, emergency jelly. Stone Journer. Zubat. It's crazy to me that we can go for like packs in a row without getting grass Pokemon. A but fungus. as I say it, yeah, there's a fungus. Yeah, worth one. The Stone Journer doesn't score anything. And the, the Keldeo. Keldeo. Wow. wow. Wow, wow. So that's going to be a two-point pack for a total of five on the season for Shadow Loop. I feel like Keldeo has like starter... Appearance vibes. Is it a starter? It is not a starter. It is so that you have Verizion, Terrakion, and Cabalion, which are like the three Musketeer Pokemon, sort uh, of. And then Keldeo is like the fourth one. So they're all called the Swords of Justice, and they all sort of have like um, like a unicorn-esque vibe to them. I see. Yeah. Yeah. So I don't really like Keldeo that much. Oh. I don't think I don't like the design. Thoughts have been shired. Yeah. Thoughts have been shired. That's my personal opinion. If there was a, you know what, but if I was like playing a deck and it turned out the Keldeo was just really good, I could change my mind. I could be convinced. But but as it stands, not my favorite Pokemon. Okay. okay. Anyway, next up is Marcos. This is, uh, we have a rookie, Ben. A rookie? Okay, always exciting. It's a sink or swim back. kind of moment. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Here we go. How will Marcos do on their first pack ever? Sometimes you can tell a lot about how someone's going to do in the long term based on their very first pack. Will they pull the salad? No, they give a raucous pummeling energy. Indeed. All right, there we go. They have the Matang. Oh, no. I was like, is that one? No. We haven't pulled us. Have we still not pulled a Clang or a Dratini or a Ralts at all? I don't know, because it seemed like last week that's all we were getting yeah. nonstop and always. <laughs> oh, the Cabalion. See, you have to know. There's another Swords of Justice. I got you. In there gotcha. for you. That's just going to be a two point just, pack just for a, Marcos. There you go. But they are headed your way. Either which way, so congratulations and enjoy. Well, boom. Throw you in there. And next up, we have a Tyler Siegel. All right. Man, he's been watching since the original Pixar Theory. That has been a hot minute, considering yeah. we have redone the Pixar Theory two full times since then. Yeah. So it's like, what, like 10 years now? Oh my gosh. I can't think about that. Can't, can't think, think about, about that. that. I can't think about that. We'll be still doing it in 10 years. Hopefully. 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 We'll be on season 20 of Box Breakers then. No, more than that. Bet more than that, yeah. All right, we got a raucous pummeling. So we are seeming to sync up, as you yeah. sometimes do. V-Guard Energy, the Hypno, the Haunch Crow, the Ndidi. Marini? Yep. Okay. Sun the scores. Sun Kern. Well, that, yeah, there you go. The Ball Toy, the Clink. Oh, score. no, Clank. Oh, Clank, I'm sorry, I'm sorry, I'm sorry. Wow. 
Um, no score on the Corellia and the, the Incineroar. Incineroar. Ah, the old burpee machine from go. last episode, if I recall. I believe so, yeah. All yep. right, there you are. Right, there you go. So, Mr. Siegel, you got an Incineroar coming your way and two points up on the board. <clears throat> Moving on, we've got Jeremy, who's actually coming in with seven points, which doesn't sound like a lot, but is pretty respectable. It is absolutely respectable. I think the first... Uh, day of openings, our high score was like nine points. Yeah. Uh, so it's like you never really know what to expect because like two episodes later, we had somebody pull a 230-point single pack. Exactly. So, so fire. Okay. Would have been good last we week. Go. Would have been. Here we Worker. go. Worker. Oh, the Sun Flora. Yep, there That's we go. That's going to score the Murkrow, the Beldum. Oh, the, the Sun Kern. Kern. There you go. The Noibat and... Oh, oh the Dragonite. Dragonite! Man, fun. I'm pretty sure it's just a three-point pack. Three-point pack indeed. There we go. That's going to bring you to ten on the season. Uh, that's going to put you in the top ten, actually. Though. That's, it's good status for both the uh, quality eighth place spot and Big Steve. So yeah. good good uh, positioning for a potential uh, elite trainer box at the end of the season based that's on right. how the cards fall. Mm -hmm. All right. Let me All right. Here. Next up, we have Lauren. 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 Lauren, who's coming in with a single point. Um, now, this is now as ever, Lauren's mom was on Wheel of Fortune once, so she's always trying to like channel some of that energy here. Yeah. We do have a wheel on the show itself. So that's a good point. Will good that point. will that affect the uh, the draw? Only this the next ten seconds will tell. And we're about to find out. Okay. Boom, boom. So now now we're back to like the back to back uh, energy. Well, now oh, we there's a, the Clang score. The Clang. There we go. We wow. got it this time. We got the Phoebus, the Fennekin. Sure, my great pack last week. Spinnerack scores. Oh Roll, Roll scores, scores and the click. oh, click the clang. Look at that. Click what clang. Are the odds? Okay, I know that's that's kind of an unusual. Pretty good. Set it back. So, so four points, four right? Four points total. Yeah, it's just sort of using almost every avenue you could uh, to get four points. Uh, that's, that's turning a little into a lot. There you go. So, Lauren playing a very strategic round there. Bravo to Lauren. Setting up for a really strong finish, I have to imagine, as we go into the final the final pack yeah. of the season. No doubt. All right, next up we have C-Mac. C-Mac! C-Mac! Coming in with two points. And uh, now, I can tell you that our next contestant is Brooke, who's presently leading the pack. And sometimes, as it goes... The, the 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 box seems to know like the the people around the leaders seem to do okay. So it's, we'll it's, not, it's not like it's like the shoulder the shoulder region yeah. of the leaders tends to like manifest rare cards. So we got an eyeball energy, which which should have been the energy of the day. It feels there's no, the clink, but not the clang. Yeah, right. So token tomorrow, the Esper. If only look how many points they just scored. Brandon and Braviary. Oh. All right, so now we're heading into the Brook box. This is a single, this is going to be a single point on this box, bringing C-Mac up to three on the season. And now you have to wonder, if we had just, like, switched which way we went, would Brooke have gotten the single point instead of what she's about it's to like, score? What is the, I mean, the pack feels, it feels dense, this you know? It's one. like there's there's something about it. It's like that extra little bit, like, you know, possible, like, trainer gallery yeah. and full art type of situation. <laughs> so this is, uh, yeah, Brooke is sitting, in case you're wondering, at 230 points and has already collected an alt art V on the season. So this is really just padding her lead, but it doesn't mean she couldn't really pad it. I know. So let's the, see. I, I am not, I am not confident in a world where, where <clears throat> we would see this leader go down. Yeah. Like, some incredible stuff would need to happen. Wait, almost but someone else needs to pull the alt art. Right. Basically, right. Or, or a double on, like, the second or third most valuable. But even then... Eh. I know. Even then, it's going right. to be a reach. So, we got an eyeball energy off the front. The Serena nice. last week was proven to be very powerful yeah, in terms like a of good a good indicator. Yeah. yeah. Okay, the Duo Ocean. Right, Pikachu, Pikachu. Token tomorrow. The so far, Oh, the same dial. Would have been last week. I don't even think we pulled one last week, did we? I think we pulled one. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Weirdly rare common cards. Right. Zubat. Zubat. And uh, uh, Zero. just a zero. Or, wow. Okay, so okay. just a single point. <laughs> Leaving the door open, Brooke. I know. Wow. And, and the other thing, though, too. Now now we have, you know, like we said, sometimes it feels like rare cards sit around the, the people on the top of the leaderboard. Right. So, so Like, maybe. this is the other shoulder. Right. The, the better shoulder, if you will. So maybe it's going to be M-Bug. M-Bug. M-Bug could use it because they're sitting at three points. Three points. Which three is, points. you know, it's a it's sort of a bad spot to be points-wise because it's like, it's not that many, but it is already like kind of high for that like last place award. If you're competing for last, it's like, wow, wow. wow. you blew past last yeah, place. Kind of like, you sort of like, um, 
When I say, I don't want to say stumbled out of the gate, but you sort of like, you know, went a little fast out of the gate. <laughs> <laughs> you are You're trying to stumble. Neither here nor there. Yeah, exactly. So uh, we're looking for probably something big for M-Bug here. Boom, they've got the metal energy. Okay. So no salad. But let's oh, there's the Serena again. The last pack okay. wasn't no, very yeah, good. It didn't tell us anything. Oh, so. it didn't annoy about. We haven't put a single Dratini yet. There. Oh, uh oh, here we go though. Boom. Oh. The Trainer Gallery Altaria and the Noivern. Okay, okay, so let's see what does. So that's at least. Man, I love that Altaria. Man, that is insane. gorgeous. That is okay. really nice. Let's see how TG11 does for us again. This is the other shoulder, and it comes in at one dollar thirty nine. Oh, so it's so. a two point. So it's a three point back total. Gives Mbug six on the season. I, I would say it's probably one of my my more favorite or piece or favorite or cards we've pulled so yeah. far. That's pretty cool. That is a really good one. I don't know who that trainer is, honestly. Normally New can, trainer. Normally I can identify them. But anyway, next up we have Jessica Mullins, who is another rookie on the day. Okay, time to see what you got for us, Jessica. Show us your stripes. Maybe, maybe this is the one. Maybe this is the one near near the leaderboard that's gonna this strike big. It. How long can we stretch this possible? Yeah, I think this is it. This, this is it. Yeah. This is it. Okay. Yeah. Otherwise, the magic is gone. I see at least one. This is more like an elbow. Yeah. Relationship we're not really having the shoulders yeah, anymore. Yeah, it's like we're out to here. Teardrop energy. Okay. There we go. The Dragon Mayor, not the uh, Dratini. Durant scores. The Rolf scores. scores. Okay. The Dratini, Dratini scores. scores. And. Whoa. Oh, oh, the melodic. Well, it does score, but nothing too big. Either way, turning kind of a low value pack into a four point pack. So, really taking advantage of the chase cards for Jessica Mullins. Very impressive, uh, Jessica. Very well done. done. There you go. You got a nice melodic or milotic or whatever, however you say it. Uh, coming your way. Oh, another, another rookie and another Jessica. This is Jessica. Oh, so this is her first pack. I like to think of it as <coughs> Jesso. Wow. Yeah. Apparently, her, her fun fact here says that Jesso can skateboard in high heels, which is impressive because I can barely skateboard on, you know, regular on, shoes. On regular shoes. Shoes <laughs> meant for skateboarding. Yeah. All right. Let's see here. So we're going to do one, two, three, four. So what was the Battle of the Jessicas? Battle yeah. of the Jessicas. So four points is what we right. would need. A new, a new heated rivalry between Jessica Mulligan, just not Jessica Mulligan, Jessica Mullins. And it's, even, it's even interesting that it's like alphabetical. Yeah, and then, then no, yeah. Where's, where's Jess N? Jess you know? N, we need Jess N. So if you're a Jess N out there, you're not already signed up, please do. Yeah. Patreon.com slash Gaming. Box Breakers tier. Wallace, that provocative garb that Wallace wears. This is the second time Wallace has been paired with Brandon. Uh, you're right, yeah. Brandon. I'm oh, sorry, yeah. There we go again, yeah, there was the Rotom. The Dreepy, the Fampy, the Fletchling, the V-Guard Energy, and, and the, the Amoongus. Amoongus. Which will be a two-point Amoongus because it is grass. So uh, of the, the battle Jess rookies, it looks like Jessica Mullins has come out on top. So well done to Mullins. You win round one. I'm sure you'll be seeing um, so just, you know, some, some nasty messages in your DMs from your fellow <laughs> just, competitor. Just back and forth. Just yeah, heated rivalry. Snap. Send us the screenshots. We want to see it. We want to know how it's going. Next up, we have Anna coming in with just three points. Um, apparently, Anna did something insane, her words, in high school that she's still known for, but won't say what it is. But it's okay. She doesn't have to because she's known for it. Because she's known for yeah. it. Yeah. 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 How so fun. You, 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 remember, you remember what Anna, like, <laughs> wow. Everyone knows. Uh oh. Maybe. Anna's got the dreaded V Star counter. So that's going to be the minus one for Anna there. Uh, let's see if we can make up the difference, though. Oh, there is something peeking out back there. So it looks like she is going to do okay. The Benadryl score. Scores. Scores. Yep. Oh, the Dupider does not have regenerative energy. And then, bam! Oh, the Mall Wild V, Mall which I think Wild. we had last episode. Yes, I believe you're right. Number Looks 70. Like a two point pack. Let's just for Anna. Anna. Yeah, 71 cents for oh, the Mall Wild. That is a bummer. That is a bummer. Oh, actually, I'm sorry. It's not a two point pack. It's a one point pack. Oh. It's the V Star. Yikes. All right, one point pack, bringing your total to four on the season. Still, still got a full art card head your way. Congratulations. That's consolation prize. Next up, we have Nickel. Nickel. <clears throat> they are coming in at four points, uh, and they're a chemist. Oh, yes. Okay, okay. I wonder if they're trying to synthesize nickel. 
You know what? It seems likely. Yeah, probably. That's what they're doing at the chemistry lab. It's like the new alchemy. Goal. The new goal of alchemy is is let's let's figure out how to create more nickel. Yep. Feels like if you could, I mean, you could just make enough to make sure it's worth something. Right. Yeah. Okay. Right. We got teardrop energy. All right. Let's see here. <coughs> Open in the dew fire. There's a lot of fire on this one. Ben and Apple score, score. The Rawls score. Scores. Unidentified, Unidentified fossil. And oh, oh the, the skunk tank. tank. Getting a lot of brownie points from me for that, but they're not really worth any real points. But you know, there you go. It's going to be at least a three-point pack, unless skunk tank is a little more valuable. The Fifty-seven it's cents. Not, uh, yeah, that's just a three-point three pack, pack for nickel. But. They do get an excellent uh, full art card coming their way. There you go. And a scun tank, which is a favorite here on Super Carling Game. All right, next up we have 0 4 12 coming in with four points on the season. Is it my go? So I wonder no. if you imagine the, the sequence, 0 4 12. Yeah. Four points last, last pack. Could it be a 12 point pack? Oh, that'd be cool. It would be cool. I mean, 12 points is a solid number of points. That is. That would be, that would, that would be if you have the board. Let's see. Here we go. Bam. Got the dark teardrop energy dark this teardrop. time. Okay, the Raichu. The Raichu, the Taurus, got the Palisand, the Whelmer, the Mischievous. Whoop. And Shizua! Oh, the Archaeops. Uh, man. I, I think we should double check this one just to be we sure. We should. This is an extremely competitive card uh, being used in tandem with Lugia V and V-Star to uh, accelerate lots of special energy into play. Yeah, it for is... a common rare, it is worth a little bit more at 75 cents, mm. but still only gonna round you up to a single point, that unfortunately. That is a bummer. I feel like its value might have grown since we uh, locked in our leaderboard points. We All got, right, Ben, yeah. we have another big hitter in the house. If anyone has a chance to take down Brooke, it is our next contestant, Ben C. Ben C, no relation to me, who is also a Ben C. That's however, true. however, <clears throat> love to see that the Bens of the world are really doing a fantastic job of, now, of repping strong for us. Ben is at 78 points, so uh, got a lot of ground to make up, but Brooke only scored one point this time, right? right so yeah, if Ben yeah, can keep yeah. his, his average up of another 78 for the next two packs, he's sitting pretty. He's sitting pretty. Great positioning to Great be in. Great position, All has right. to be said. Let's see. Maybe what Ben really wants is the salad energy here. For sure. This would be a great time, great time to reveal. To see it. Oh, oh, but it's man. just the dark teardrop energy it is indeed. instead. Stone Journer. Anyway, the Ferrothorn, the Venomoth scores. Yep, yeah, that'll do one. The mm -hmm. Clink the, won't. Uh, We're looking for a Clang. Yep, there we go. Scores the Litten, mm -hmm. the Murkrow, the Swablu, the Lantern. And, and the, the Crobat. Crobat. Man, bummer. Now, let's double check the Lantern's not rare, right? Nope, no, it is okay. not. Yep, so three points on that three pack. Three points. So uh, I, I guess you could argue you made up some ground on Brook, but yeah, I mean, you could. It's, you it's, could. <laughs> it's only a two point, uh, you've only gained two <coughs> points. Right, right. So there is that. Um, so uh, at the very least, you know, you got a nice holographic crow dot coming your way. And uh, hopefully you, get, you score real big next time, like real, real big. <clears throat> That'd be awesome. All right, next up we have Blue Malamute. Mute, 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 mute. I've been corrected. Okay. Malamute. Malamute. Apparently it was common Blue knowledge. That's what everybody Malamute. in the office led me to believe. Apologies for mispronouncing it at the end of last season. Now this could be another situation where maybe we have someone like nearby, one of the leaders who's like, oh, maybe the leaders could have really just extended their lead there. Um, but let's see. Boom. Oh! <laughs> How close was Ben C to hitting the salad energy? One pack. He's kicking himself. Oh, dearest. Oh. Wow. Dearest. All right, let's okay. see. All right. Is it going to be a big pack now for Blue Malamute? Will they be able to capitalize on their salad energy thus far? Oh, there no, we go. There's okay. a pet well. Yeah. Okay. There's the Pharisee. The Crow Gunk is nothing. And the Armaldo. So, unfortunately, not real. It looks like a four point pack. A four point so pack. There you go. Ah. Uh, it's a bummer. So really, Ben C, you might have made up that one extra point as well. But it would have been worthwhile. You know, you know, you know, every point counts. Every point at counts. At the end of the day. Uh, Blue Malamute, <laughs> we've talked about this before, but did come in last place last season with a total of nine cents yes, on the season. And it right. came down to one penny's difference as well, to who was the winner. So well now, Ben, speaking of coming in last place, next up we have Lauren B. Now, last episode. We had three people tied for last place at zero points yes. each. Yes, Lauren, we did. The other two, if I recall, both 
managed to score but a single point. But a single point indeed, yeah. So uh, they both came to play. Will Lauren B continue the tradition? Now, if this is if history is playing a part, this is probably a salad energy. It probably is which a is salad. Is not energy. good for Lauren. If you want to be in last place, and, and it, it is. is. Oh no. Okay, so it's not. Well, it is impossible to get less than two points now. I'm gonna say it right now. I think that I think that Lauren B is gonna go from competing for last place to competing for quality eighth place. Okay. In one fell swoop, I All think right. so. So we'll see here. We got the Stone Turner, the Golbat, the Furisoed Girl. Yeah. Is that right? Sure. That's smear Gold. The Esper, <coughs> the Chin Chow, the Dratini. Oh, the Dratini scores. Yep. There we go. So that's gonna be worth at least two in the end. Ooh. Oh, a trainer gallery of Okay. And, and, uh oh. Oh, oh. And an unknown V star. So, indeed, ends up being a pretty lucrative pack with uh, the double full art and a bonus card and the multiplier. So, yeah, Lauren B decided she's not here for last place. She's going says, big. No. Mm -hmm. She says no. Okay, mm -hmm. so let's see here. So, TG08 <coughs> is only going to be worth 55 cents. This one? Yeah. So, okay, that'll so round up to one. a single point. Okay, and then the V star is the, what? The V star is number 66 on the set. And that's going to come in at a dollar fifty six. So that's so two, two points. So that's what four times two is eight points. Correct. On the pack. Bam. All right. Well, Lauren, I think you're safely out of last place contention. You're probably you're actually near the top ten now. If I'm yes, I, I believe right. tied at the very least with Big Steve. <clears throat> wow. So maybe not quite in contention for that quality eighth place, which is at the bare minimum at ten points right now. Um, however. You are tied with Big Steve, which puts you in great position for the Big Steve Award. It sure does. All right, so Lord B just switched up the strategy. Didn't want to have a three-way battle at the bottom. Exactly. And now, exactly. who's who is at the bottom now for us? So, um, what is it? Uh, Data Rage and Anita are both extremely happy with uh, that result. Yes. Now, now it's really just between them down there at the bottom at the moment. Next up, though, we have Jade. Jade! Jade is coming in with a single point... Uh, herself. So, also, yeah, also currently in that sort of like. Yeah, so it could be, could be down there um, looking for a, a last place finish. Bam! They got the lightning energy, so no multiplier for Jade. Okay, more Pico, more okay. Waylord, yep. Halucha, Rufflet. Drowsy and kaboom! The Miss Mangus. Okay, so Jade actually putting in a pretty solid performance for the uh, the last place bid as well. Now finishing two episodes with just two points. There you go, so averaging that one point per episode, not a bad strategy. Not I mean, bad. you gotta have one, and if it's gonna be coming last, I mean, you're doing it about doing as well it right. as you can. There we go. Next up we have Emerald Phoenix also down there, which is a single point so far. So now we're, yeah, we're creeping into that territory where people are all like battling for something else. Yes, yes, exactly. Yeah. King of how, the Valley, as how, it were. However, again, as it as it stands, it's like you you have that, uh, that situation where first place was able to get there with just one single card, so one single card can change anything at any time. Let's see how Emerald does. Let's see. One, two, three, four. Flip to the front. We'll do the flip. We got the Man. lightning bolt, mm, of course. As expected, would. the Clang will Clang score. scores. Emergency jelly. I can never say that one. Swirlix. The Indeedy. The, the Sun Curtain scores. Score. Yep, congratulations. Balls the ball toy, the, the clay doll, and, and, and the Del 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 Fox. Fox. It's going to be a three point pack for Emerald, bringing them up to four on the season. There you go. Headed your way, dude. All right, next up we have Ayesh coming in with a single point as well. As well. So you can tell we're at like a, we're at a certain point in the uh, in the leaderboard here. Everyone's in a tight, tight race. Everyone's trying to break free, break away from the pack. Will Ayesh be the one to do it with their raucous pummeling energy off the top? Have a V-Guard energy, Torakai Dragon. Ooh, got a little dragon line going yeah, on there here. Yeah, the Clink won't do it. Clink won't, but the Dratini will. The Togo Tomorrow, the Esper, the Talent Flame actually does score, and the Victini. So, three point pack for a Yesh. Ba Boom! On the board up to four points. So, right there with Emerald Phoenix, keeping it tight with the, uh, the one point and then three points. Now we're down to our last two contestants of the day. We have, uh, what is this? Smubbles! Smubbles! Smubbles like s'mores and bubbles. Smubbles. Hey, I like it. I like it. Oh, Smubbles coaches water polo. That's How about fun. that? Maybe, I wonder if that's where Smubbles comes from. Probably. Yeah, some type of like, you know, like blowing bubbles kind of situation. Right. Blowing right. Smubbles. All right, let's see here. So we'll set the <coughs> card aside. One, two, 
Oh Three. no, Smobble's oh. coming in with the V-Star. Oh, I got the V-Star. Mm, the negative that's a, one. That's a minus one point. We'll do the flip. Dracloak? Dracloak. Unidentified Fossil. <laughs> that, car, that card loves you, Ben. Araquanid. 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 Yeah. I was I always want to call it Arachnid. But like a like a fun spelling. The Vulpix, the Stunfisk, the Snorunt. Oh my god, the Fleshling. Pharaoh Seed, the Clink, oh, which so doesn't do it. Nope. And, and the, the Guard of War. War. It's gonna be a zero point pack, oh no! Yikes. Oh dear, oh it dear. Hurts. That's a big goose egg for you there, my friend Smubbles. So sitting, sitting, sitting pretty with two points out. Again, last place award. Highly contested, one of our most competitive categories. No doubt, no doubt. And coming into the final pack of the day, hopefully something cool left to come. Oh man, this is actually our third place uh, player right now. So someone else who, I want to say, stands a chance of dethroning Brooke, but they're going to need quite a pack. There's they're no need doubt. Quite a pack, and they're going to make up 225 points of ground. They're looking for the alt art. Lugia. 205 points of Right here. This right is here. what they right. need. This is right now, right here, right now. Right Although there's still one more pack left this season, so there's always, you gotta always, always that. Yeah, let's see. Can we do it? Ooh, the firing. So no, no. no support off of your energy card, uh, but we'll see where we go. We got the quad. Have we put any other quad stones? I don't recognize that at all. Yeah. That I know when first. you play this, you have to play all, you have to play four of them at once. Wow, that seems difficult. Weird. It does seem difficult. Um, I've not seen yeah. anyone do it. Fungus, yeah. Fungus, the sandy guy. There is something back there. Something peeking out. Is it going to be something good, though? Oh, it is a full art unknown V. I have not seen this card. That is a beautiful card. That is really cool. Very oh, nice. Very frequently, I feel like they show, they have this like a bunch of this mon <clears throat> on a single card at once. Like, yeah. how often do they just show one? Yeah, not often. Uh, so the, the gimmick with these is that each one is the shape of a different letter of the alphabet. Okay. Yeah, I'm not sure which, which one that's supposed to be. Let's see, uh, number 176 <laughs> is going to be worth $4.67. So rounds okay. up to five. Five, so six, seven. Seven points seven on the pack. Points. There you go. Well, not we're creeping up to 32 points on the season, getting a little closer to Ben C as well, who's sitting at 80 points on the season. Uh, there you go. Sammy, well done. That is going to round out our uh, box today. As a reminder, we have uh, enough players in the game now that we're breaking up this month into four episodes, 25 each. Very exciting. Uh, we're trying to get up to, I think, 144 total players. 144 total, yes. at which point we will be able to engage uh, a new mode of a competition, which is yes. the team mode. Indeed. So if you head on over to the Patreon, you'll <clears> see that there are different uh, available tiers you can sign up based on which uh, Pokemon type you like the best. Yes. So grass, water, fire, and electric. Once all four of those are completely filled out, we will actually allow you guys to compete as a team uh, to see who can collect the most points as a collective, and there will be a special prize for the winning team. Yes, so there will. all the more reason, just a little more incentive to head on over to patreon.com slash supercarlingaming and select the box breakers tier. Yes, but until next time, bye!